A British tourist has told how she played dead to survive being mauled by a cheetah whilst on holiday in South Africa. Violet DeMello from Aberdeen was among a group of tourists who were attacked after being let into the animal's enclosure by park guides who had described the cats as tame. Mrs DeMello suffered injuries to her head, stomach and legs. Well, Violet and her husband Archie DeMello are on the line now. And Archie, I think you are there first of all. Yes, I'm here. Hi, yes. Hello, Archie. It's very good to talk to you. Uh, we'll talk to Violet in a moment, but just uh, from your point of view, because you were watching and taking photographs, just tell us what happened. Well, it was one of these guided tours that they do in these parks, and we were meant to go in at 3 o'clock. There were two tours during the day, one at 10 and one at 3. We picked at the 3 o'clock one as we had just arrived just before that, and uh, we were told that there are two... Uh, cheetah cubs that were hand-reared, very tame, and uh, we could go in with a guide who was qualified to guide us, and they were in an enclosure. Another family from uh, Port Elizabeth joined us, a mother and three very young children, the youngest one being seven, and they were a bit panicky when they saw what the cubs, uh, what, how big the cubs were. They turned out to be 14-month uh, adult males, and more or less fully grown and uh, weighing between 60 and 70 kilos. And uh, we were led to this gate and the gate was locked. Um, the young guy with us uh, then went and the, the, one of the cats was sitting very close to the gate, purring away. And she went and sort of uh, stroked him on the head and uh, said that he's so tame that he can even lie on it then he'll do nothing. So, uh, fair enough, she wanted each one of us to come in turn and uh, we could take pictures of the cat with the person behind it, stroking it. So my wife volunteered to go first and I was taking photographs. And then the cat suddenly, uh, you know, got up and walked away. And uh, the guide said, you know, they are just agitated this time of the day. And my wife said, oh, yes, there's a lot of flies around it. Maybe he doesn't, you know, feel a bit comfortable. So he went around the little bush and when he came back, the smallest girl was about seven or eight years old. She uh, looked at the cat, panicked and uh, uh, ran towards the mother and quick as a flash, the cat uh, uh, grabbed her and bit her on the thigh, her left thigh. And uh, when that happened, the little boy who was standing next to my wife uh, was about to run as well, and she calmed him down and said, don't run, and uh, took him under her arm. And the second cat by then was initially nowhere to be seen, jumped on the wife's back and pushed her to the ground, and she was luckily flat on her stomach. And then he started biting her, you know. They were just playful, but the bites were pretty deep and pretty uh, strong. Well, he bit her on both the thighs. We're, looking, we're, just looking at, we're just looking at the photographs of that night. And I'm, yes. I'm just wondering, can you pass the phone to Violet so we could talk to her? Yes, she's Thank just you. here. Just a minute, I'll Thank do you. that. Yes, Violet. And we can see as we're just waiting that these pictures of the attack taking place on Violet. Hello. Hello, Violet. Hello. How, how are you, first of all? Mending. What's, Mending, that's, that's all I can see. What sort of, what sort <laughs> of injuries What sort of injuries do you have? Oh, Oh, lots of, uh, uh, you know, uh, bite marks, puncture marks. Uh, my scalp was sort of sliced open, but it's been put right by a lovely doctor here. And uh, I'm on demand. I'm sort of, uh, uh, you know, for four days, I just sort of was quite traumatized. I still am. But you've got to move on and think positive, you know. And uh, But I'm on the mend. We're looking at the photographs that were taken off the attack, because, of course, your husband was there taking pictures of you looking at these cats. Um, it must have been absolutely terrifying. It, 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 well, I, uh, to be honest, you know, I sort of, we never expected something like this. So there was, uh, uh, you know, because we were sort of uh, told nothing would happen and their cubs, and we were sort of quite surprised to see these big cats. Uh, but we never for one moment uh, thought that, uh, you know, they would attack us. 
and uh, we were told that they would never attack adults. So it was uh, the children we were concerned about, you know. And what, and, what, did, uh, what did the people in the park, the, 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 the gamekeepers, were they able to get the cats off you eventually? The, the owners were not around because it, it, there was only one guide who was the one who took us into this enclosure. And, uh, I mean, she was just a wee thing. You know, I think we're about the same height. And uh, she sort of managed to get, the, uh, you know, a cheetah off the little girl because it attacked the little girl. And the, the little girl was at the front of me and her brother was behind her. He was just immediately between his mother and myself. So when the attack happened from behind, I didn't see it. I'm I glad. Don't know if you can... I'm glad. I'm glad that you're on the mend, as they say. But um, and you now have this photographic record because your husband did continue to take the pictures. Um, did you expect him to come to your rescue? Well, there was no time for anything because, really speaking, you know, my husband was just sort of, because he's got one of these cameras, he was just clicking away. I mean, there was, I don't think it even uh, registered that the attack was actually happening when he was taking pictures. But it was all within seconds that, uh, you know, I didn't even feel, I was not, you know, sort of didn't even think I was going to be attacked. So there was, uh, you know, they were not wishes. Please, please make, uh, make very specific note of this, that they were not wishes. It was, I think, a playful attack because uh, a lot of people say that children associate uh, or cubs, you know, though they are grown up, they think that uh, uh, children. So, you know, our concern was the children, but my husband never expected the you know, cheetah to attack me. I never expected the cheetah to attack me from back. In fact, I just didn't even, uh, you know, uh, I just remember being uh, something, you know, biting my head and dragging me down. But even then, I was just thinking of the children because they were the, you know, because already in your head, you know that you're an adult and nothing's going to happen to you. Well, Violet, we're, 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 very, we're very pleased to hear that you're on the mend and sounding very chipper as well. And thank you very much indeed for sharing your story. And you certainly have some rather uh, dramatic pictures for your photograph album from this holiday. Thank yes. you very much indeed, yes, Violet Tomello. Yes.